You're playing for your Sunday league team. It's the 79th minute and you get a free kick. It's 1-1 and if you score, you'll go on to win. From the sideline, you hear Cristiano Ronaldo telling you to shoot. Well, not really. Over the past week, I photoshopped footballers into my Instagram photos and no one noticed. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. The plan for post one was pretty simple. The date was the 26th of January and I had a football match, which gave me the perfect opportunity to get the first picture. So it's been two days since I actually played in the match. I know it's been a while, but I just kind of got lazy and never got around to editing the photos, but we're here now, so let's just jump straight into it. So first of all, I'm gonna have to pick the photo we're gonna use, and I think I'm gonna avoid the ones in bright sunshine like this. But you know what, I actually really rate this one. I like the motion in it and everything, and we might actually be able to put someone in the background over here. You know what, maybe seven on the back, CR7 in the background. I think we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna search for Ronaldo in public. You know what, this one actually looks all right. I'm just gonna drop it straight into Photoshop. Now we have to clean it up a bit. And I think for the most part, that's basically it. I'm gonna add a bit of noise to it so it doesn't look too sharp in the background. Potentially 3%. Yeah, that looks about right. Now all I have to do is clean up the overhang. So now we just have to go in heavy with the blur, which is really gonna make the picture look realistic. So for the final bit, we're gonna add a few shadows around the feet. So this is our final image, you know, I'd be really surprised if anyone actually saw it was Ronaldo in the background, so I'm gonna export this and get back to you when I'm uploading it. Okay, so now it's actually time to upload it. You know what, let's just give it a go. Okay, so the picture's finally up, I'm gonna leave it a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back to you guys to see what the reaction is. So after one day and 1,200 likes later, no one noticed anything. Massive W on the first post, let's move on to post number two. So I'm at the pitch now for post number two. It's fairly windy out, which is why I'm doing this in the car, but anyway, I'm wasting time. Let's get down to the pitch. So it's now 25 to 5, which does not give us a lot of time at all to edit and upload the next picture, but you know what, we're gonna go for it anyway. But main question is, what picture are we gonna use? You know what, I'm actually really feeling this picture, I think we could hide someone in the background here, so just gotta get into Photoshop. Now the question is, what footballer are we gonna use? You know what, we got away with Mbappe once before, so why not try it again? You know, I think if we can pull this off, we're gonna completely finesse everyone. So we're just gonna search for Mbappe in public. Okay, so not a lot showed up in Mbappe in public, so I think we're gonna go Mbappe casual wear. That might show up something. I think this one might actually work, you know? Maybe if we put him coming out of the forest or just walking behind the goal, that might work there. No, I'm thinking maybe if we put him here, we might be able to blur him out a bit, you know, give him a dog or something. You know, there's quite a bit of work to do with this one, but right now I think we're gonna give him a dog. You know, people never suspect people who have dogs. I think this dog is gonna do, so we're just gonna drop him in. No, it might actually work. You know, that took way too long, but at least Killian's got a dog now. It's pretty clean. I think if we put the dog behind the goalpost, it'll look a bit more convincing. So now we have to blur everything up and work around with the colors a bit just to make everything seem as part of the one picture. I mean, that, we could get it. I mean, you know what, it don't, it don't look too bad. You know, the dog, the dog is either gonna make or break the shot. The dog could ruin everything here. I might not be feeling the dog, you know. Killian, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but your dog's gotta go. So now we're working with Killian. I know the dog was a nice concept, but overall it, it wasn't gonna work. And now we gotta go for shadows. I think the shadow is the main thing. Let's do this. I think we're drawing too much attention to Killian. I think we gotta get rid of that stripe on his pants. 
This is just me overthinking stuff. So I think this is the cleanest we're gonna get it. You know, I might go over the contrast a bit more off camera, but I'm gonna get back to you guys in a bit when I'm about to upload it. So this is the final image we have. I darkened the contrast on Killian just a tiny bit to make him blend in a bit more. So let's give it the corny caption and we are done. So I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit and see what the results are. So pretty much the same as post one, no one suspected anything, but things were getting too easy. Like realistically, how are you meant to tell that this was Mbappe? We have to turn things up a notch. Okay, so we're gonna take the next post here, you know, I might put someone sitting on the bench over there, so you know what, let's just go for it. So this is the picture we're gonna be using for post three. You know what, it's actually a decent picture. I'm, I'm looking all right in it, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm thinking for this post, maybe we could put someone sitting in the background over here. And you know what, we've done Ronaldo, we've done Mbappe. We need to do the other goal. We've gotta go with Messi, no, we gotta go big on this post. So I guess for this post, we're just gonna go with Messi sitting down. I guess that's gonna give us the best results. You know, this one is nice, but I don't think it's gonna to work too well. You know, we're gonna need a side view of Messi sitting down just to match up with our picture. You know, I think this one might actually work, you know, the bib isn't ideal, but as far as side views go, I don't think we're gonna get much better than this. I am so bad at cleaning these things up, I don't know how to do them. You know, things right now, they're not looking too clean, I definitely feel like we gotta get rid of this bib on Messi. So let's grab the clone stamp tool and begin getting rid of this bib. I think we've done a pretty decent job of that, I don't think anyone's gonna notice from a distance anyway, but... Right now we gotta deal with this levitation problem right here. I'm hoping we might be able to just warp his legs so that they're touching the ground. <laughs> nope. I mean, what other way can we do this? I mean, can we maybe shrink the bench? Would that work? You know, this could actually work. On a real though, I think we've actually sorted the problem out with the bench. It kind of actually looks like he's sitting there, but should we change the color of his shoes? I feel like it makes him stand out a bit too much. I don't think I'm gonna actually change the colour of his shoes, you know, we gotta give people a chance. I want people to actually see Messi this time around. And I think we're pretty much done, I don't think we have to add any blur or noise to Messi this time around, you know, we've got a pretty crisp picture already, so... I think all we have to do now is export it and upload it. Alright, so I've got the picture on my phone now, and I'd be very, very surprised if no one actually picked up on Messi in the background. I've made it pretty obvious, so... You know what, let's just get it up on Instagram. You know, we're gonna keep the caption brief this time. I want people to be able to pick up on Messi pretty easily. So you know what, let's just go for it. We got the pass on post three, but they were on to us. We weren't done just yet though. Alright, so we're back at the pitch for picture number four, you know, we've got the six times ball today, we've got the Liverpool kit, you know how it is, so you know what, let's just get this picture. Alright, so we're back here again. I don't actually have a lot of time to edit the next picture. I got these Mbappe Nike Superflies and I was kind of looking at them for the past hour or so. That's kind of where my time went. So we did actually get some pretty nice pictures today, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. You know, I think it'd just be pretty easy to put someone in the background over here, maybe on the path. So, you know what, let's do it. So since it's the last picture, I think I'm gonna go for my favorite footballer, which is either Alexander Arnold or Firmino. And you know what, I think Firmino might be a bit more recognizable, so we're gonna go for him. So I guess all we have to do is search up for Firmino in public, same as always. Um, not actually a lot comes up for Firmino in public, let's try Firmino casual wear, that seemed to work for Mbappe. Could we actually get away with something like this? I mean, probably not at my football pitch anyway. Um, you know, this one might actually work, maybe put him in the background walking on the path, I, I don't see why it wouldn't work. First off, we have to cut away the background. Eh, you know what it'll do. Let's free transform him. Let's shrink him down a bit, you know. Bobby ain't that big. It don't look too bad. I think we have to change the perspective a bit to make him look like he's actually walking on the path. Oh, it, it ain't too bad. Or does it? I don't know. 
Mmm, ah, damn, I don't know. Something's off about a shoe though, you feel me? You know what, I feel like that'll do. It's not that noticeable overall. You know, I feel like I kind of want people to find out about this one. You know, it's gone on long enough, realistically. Uh, Bobby, 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 you will not get away with those three quarter lengths at the pitch I was at today. It was freezing. Let's just, let's just paint him, paint him a pair of pants. You know, I think that's, that's a decent job, that. I think we're gonna have to add a bit of noise to him just to make him blend in a bit more with the back. Uh, 4% will do. Colors are off though, we definitely need to alter the colors. We're gonna go adjustments, match color. Let's match the color of the background. That's not what we want. Let's neutralize it. Turn the fade up. Bobby does always have a sick fade to be fair. Gotta get rid of that Liverpool crest though, you know, people are gonna pick up on it too much. You know, I actually have to go in with a bit of blur to be honest, it's just a little too crisp. Bobby's always crispy to be fair though. You ever see those, you ever see those Rabonas? You ever see those like Cruyff turns? No, I thought so. Last post finally complete, you know, this video took so long to do, but finally we've actually got there. So I guess I'll see you guys when I'm uploading it. All right, at six o'clock it's time to post this, so I've added the caption and we are done in a bit. Wait, 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 stop. So I had a plan at the end of this video to do this big thing where I show all the comments of people calling me out, but out of the 55,000 people we reached across the four posts, only four actually pointed out the footballers that were hidden. So for everyone who didn't get it, this one's for you. For real though guys, if you did enjoy the video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.